Um, this is Leona Rufner of Worthington, and she's going to be our narrator today. My name's Connie Rufner, and I'm the interviewer. Uh, so, Leona, when were you when were you born? February the twelfth, nineteen eighteen. Okay, and we've got a wonderful uh, memento we're going to take a picture of that says all the things that happened on that date. So, you have memories of the Great Depression and of World War Two. The depression, yes, I, I, uh, I was going to school, or you know, I was in high school. Were you? Uh, yes, I graduated from up here in '36, and I tell you, the kids, I mean, we were poor. I can't, I shouldn't say that, uh, but as a class, we didn't, we didn't have a yearbook. We couldn't afford to make a yearbook and a prom and Mr. Laird was the principal and we just uh, all met in one of the rooms um, up there and he his sister made apple pie mm -hmm. and he furnished the ice cream and that was our lunch for our prom and we just did nothing you know we just so what did what kind of work did your father do? Uh, well, at that time, uh, the depression. Everybody had a garden. Mm -hmm. I tell you, everybody, because we lived in Craigsville. We, I was eighteen when we moved out on four twenty two. They built a house on mm -hmm. four twenty two, and we moved out there. But he had a horse, and he he plowed gardens for people. Uh -huh. And um, I remember, for sakes, they just people just had gardens everywhere, you know, trying to raise their, their own food. And of course, we always uh, we always had a pig, and we had a cow, and um, we always, you know, mother would make the butter and the buttermilk and the smear case, as they called it then. Now, what was smear case? It's cottage cheese. Ah. Same, you know, but uh -huh. it was, but then it, they called it smear case. Do you know, do you still know how to churn butter and make cheese? Oh, if, if I had that churn that we had at home, you know, it was one of those that uh -huh. you, you uh, and made your butter. How long did it take to make butter that way? Oh, gosh. As you stomped, or you know why, it it would break the milk or the mm -hmm. buttermilk up, you know, and then finally you got in there with a paddle and worked it together, and then you put it in the butter bowl and worked it to get all that water out of your butter. Ah. So... So first you would stomp it, and it may, would make like little bitty lumps, mm -hmm. and then you would yes, smash you all would the have lumps to together stomp it until you would, till it would. I always wondered how that worked. <laughs> oh, no, no, she had a little churn. It wasn't, uh, you know, uh, probably stood about that high. It was wooden, uh huh, and it had that paddle in, and you stood there and just kept doing that. But I don't remember, you know, how long it would take, but... A long time? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. You just don't know? I don't know whether it be an hour or... Seems so, it would be... Somewhere around mm -hmm. an hour. Okay. Oh, probably. What kind of, how, what kind of uh, stove did she cook on? No, we had a gas stove. Did you? Mm -hmm. We, uh, no. I don't know. It probably Dave still has it down there. When when we sold things, uh, you know, it had a, an oven on the side. Uh huh. Uh huh. And um, I remember those. No. And of course, she washed on the washboard. Do you remember electricity coming in? I remember when we got our first refrigerator, but then we had already moved out to the new house. Out to the new house, and we uh, the electric out there was REA, 
Do you know what I'm... Mm -mm, what rural. was that? It's from where? Up at... Oh, Shakur or uh -huh. up in that. Uh -huh. uh, rural Electric. Yes. And it's still... They're still there. It's still yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People get their electric from there. Yeah, I met a guy who worked for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um... So you had a gas stove, and you remember getting your first refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So what did you have before the refrigerator? Just the old dirt floor in the basement where it was cold, you know, and you set your crocks and... Aha! Uh -huh. And, uh, well, in Craigsville we had a little pot belly stove, uh -huh. like in uh, the, the kitchen. And then the next room was kind of the dining room, I guess. And that's where the stove, this little stove, and we heated. Your whole house? The, or just that room? Was it cold upstairs? No, oh, uh, it, yes, very, very cold. No. Um, and I think it seems to me they cut little... Uh, in the ceiling, you uh -huh, know, so uh -huh. that the heat would go up, but but no, it was cold. And then gas stoves, we had one in the living room, uh -huh. our gas uh -huh. stove. And so you went to school and you guys didn't have money for a prom, you just had apple pie with ice cream? That's it. And you didn't have money for a yearbook? So there's not one from that those years. Not that, mm -hmm. uh -huh. no. So what did you do once you graduated? Well, when I graduated in '36, uh, I went to work at uh, Craigsville Supply. Was uh -huh. the name of this? It was a company store. The Graphs uh -huh. okay. had the sword pipe. Uh -huh. You know, they built a sword pipe. And then there was a company store there, workers and so on. But I went to where I had, as a clerk, uh -huh. there were several of us. Jim Henry, James Henry was the uh, man that run the store, you know. But um, but I worked there, oh, until I, I guess I, and that was 36. And I was married in '41, so I probably worked like five there. years. So tell us how how did a company store? How did that work? You waited as somebody came in and wanted a can of corn. You went and got the can of corn. The the clerk did. Uh huh. You know, or whatever they you you went and got it. It wasn't the. Uh, the person that, and then we went around uh, through town uh -huh. and took orders. Uh -huh. You would go, usually one of the other, uh, Frank Williams worked there and he, he would go around to the houses that he knew, you know, and write their order down, whatever they wanted, and then he'd bring it back to the store and we'd fill the orders, we'd fill them and put in boxes, uh -huh. and then when we got them done, then he would deliver them. <laughs> <laughs> so if people grew a lot of their own food and they had a cow and a pig and chicken, did they have Well, chickens? we did. Well, <laughs> we did. When, at first, I remember we had some chickens, and then uh, we got, I don't know, we got rid of them anyway, and Dad made us a playhouse out of the chicken coop. Did it and smell he, like chicken? He made, in fact, I still have the little table down uh -huh. in the basement that he made me uh, for in the, uh, and we had a, and all, oh, there was a whole bunch of kids in Craigsville at that time. We had lots of children, and uh, we, the neighbor, you know, we just, we had this playhouse, and, and the neighbors and came I, to visit oh, you? Yes, they would come down, you know. So, um, and I, when I started to school, at probably six years old, there was a one-room school in Craigsville. Are, you're not familiar with Craigsville? No, not really. And, uh... But it was a company town? 
for the, was it a company town or just had a company store? No, I, there was a lot of the the men that worked at the sewer pipe lived, lived there. in Craigsville. Yes, they did. And then they brought, in fact, they brought some families from Irondale, Ohio, because they had a sewer pipe there. Uh -huh. And these men knew the ropes, if uh -huh. that's the way you would say it. And they came because Mary Fagan Everson and I, I, she happened, I think, was she in fourth grade when they moved here. And we became very good friends, and we were friends up until, you know, she graduated from college, and which I didn't have that chance, um, and had a wonderful job with golf. Uh -huh. She worked as a, sec a secretary to one of the big people. Uh -huh. and. Uh, then she retired and she bought a house out uh, Bear Street here mm -hmm. across the Roofner plan. Uh -huh. All those houses. Uh -huh. She bought one of them. Okay, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you meet your husband? Well, in school, he was, you know, he went through the same graduated in the same year. There was only of us or twenty of us I think that graduated. So so you grew up with your husband. I mean but you Well no not till I you know in high school. In high school I'd yeah. say. Okay. Well I yeah it was in seventh grade when we moved from Craigsville from the, the school. Now we had that one room school that all the classes all eight grades uh -huh. and then they built a bigger one down this way and uh -huh. it's still there and they had what was it three or four um on one side there was uh -huh. two rooms uh -huh. and one room would have the maybe first through because i left there seventh grade uh -huh. when when we were in seventh grade while we come to uh, worthington and that's where you and went there, to high that's school. where I finished uh -huh. school was um, seventh um, through thirty six. Now was that the same building that's down here now? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Where the library is. Mm -hmm. Now the library it had the well, my son and daughter too. They would go. I know, he was in first grade in where the library is, you know, the younger children. Uh, and then the older. And then, of course, there there was the uh, school over uh, on out Ross Street here. There was a school, the Worthington, but it burned. Oh, so they brought those children up. They made rooms out of the gymnasium. They put partitions up and uh, until, so maybe that's when they built the, where the library is. That building? Yes, that building. So were, were there people in the building when it burned down or was it? Yes, the children, there was children. They were mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But they, you know, they was very, as I, well, I was living down, I was married then, and living down here on Main Street across from the feed store in uh, in the Wiley house mm -hmm. when it burned. But they, you know, it was very organized to get the children out and... So they all got out? Um, yes, yes. All those fire drills mm -hmm. and they paid off? Uh-huh. That, of course, Well, like I say, I was married. We lived there. But do you remember uh, when Roosevelt was elected? I re remember, what is it? I remember of being up at my in-laws uh, 
Sue was just a baby. She was in a stroller and I was walking up the road with her. Is that when the war started? <laughs> I am asking it's, he, you. But he was president for a while before the war started. Do you remember when the war started? Well, that's what I'm trying to think. What, uh -huh. what big thing it was that I heard them talking about. And, and she Sue was, was your daughter? Daughter, yeah. Okay, so she that would have been when the war started. Yeah. She was born in 44. That's, that would have been, I think, maybe D-Day in 44 when we landed, or Pearl Harbor, maybe. Do you remember Pearl Harbor? Yes, I do, very well. Tell us I about do. that. Well, I mean, I just remember of hearing about it. Mm -hmm. and, and um, From people talking, or did yes, you? Yes, probably. Well, what, did, what did they say? Do you remember? No. I mean, just... Were they shocked? No. Yes, I think it was... No, it was a big, you know, mm -hmm. it was a... But they weren't expecting that. No, gosh, no. Do you remember, did you, now did your husband go to the war? No, he, he failed. Uh -huh. he, I mean, I remember, we were married and we went to Canning and he, they took them on the train, you uh -huh. know. He took them to Pittsburgh, uh -huh. but when he got to Pittsburgh, and do you know, I still, and I, and I went down to Dr. Beer, was here in Worthington at the time, and to see why, or what they thought, uh -huh. why he, you know, but no, he, he didn't, uh, I guess that's what uh, you would say, he mm -hmm. was what, F? 4F? 4F. So for some reason, you don't even, know why. We just kept living the same, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, then, well, Sue was born in 44 and David in 47. Do you remember um, air raid warnings? Oh, gosh sakes, yes. Uh, well, that, no, I didn't uh, sue me. Well, probably all the people around Worthington, you would sign up. And they had a little building up at the school uh -huh. um, on the Ball Diamond. It would be uh -huh. a little building. And you would go up there. There was a little stove in there, too. Uh -huh. You would go up there and sit. You would sign up to watch for planes flying oh. over anything. And if there was one you know, flying uh -huh. over, you had this number that you had to call. Remember, Arbutus Anthony, uh -huh. B. Anthony and I, we were together. Gosh, we traded recipes and did, you know, because we were used to uh -huh. being around here. We uh -huh. knew every. She was married. Now, her husband was in the service, Ted Helm. She. Uh, she was an Anthony, but she married Ted Helm, uh -huh. and um, so he was in the service, Ted was. But no, I remember going up there, and my mother-in-law, I remember her, you know, you would uh, you'd sign up for so many hours to watch for planes. Did you see planes? Ever. I don't remember that we ever did that we ever had to call in, you know, that you had to tell them what direction you know they uh -huh. were. No, no, I, I often think about, I wonder how many people know that you did that. You, I, I've never heard that one before. Oh, you did? No, nobody's told us that oh, before. No, it was just a little building and uh, and how we would, and it was like a little table there, you know, and we just sit and, but you, and it must have been maybe, because I don't remember now that there was a stove or anything, maybe that would be in the summer that you didn't need. But I remember uh, uh, B. Helen and I <laughs> going up there and sitting, watching for planes. <laughs> 
That's 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 that, a good you'd story. Say that's the first time. Nobody's told us that. <laughs> well, have, did anybody say about this WPA? No, tell us about that. Well, I don't. It it was when the war was on, and the <coughs> men. Well, I mean, hey, you were hard up, mm -hmm. and they would get a job. And they were building roads, and uh -huh. uh, you know, buildings and things like that. This, but I can't. I even went and got my dic old dictionary out to see oh, if it the was the Works it. Progress Administration. That's what WPA stood for. What did it? The Works Progress Administration. Yeah, that would be. Mm -hmm. So they built roads? Oh, yes. Yeah, anything you know, yes. And they would get a wage or page, you know, probably their wages weren't that much, mm -hmm. but that was better than, that they needed. Yeah. But then, like I say, we were fortunate because Dad could plow gardens and 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 my mother could sew. Bless her heart. Um, my gosh, you know, people would give her maybe an old coat or something, and she'd rip it all apart. And gosh, us kids, we just was all dressed up. I think I was in first grade before I had my black dress, and oh my gosh, did I think I was dressed up, you know, with with a black dress on, because so used to her sewing. But no, um, oh well, gosh, she sewed, oh, even. Because her and I uh, one time walked from Craigsville down to the woolen mill. Uh, Graphs had that, you know, and they had material, and you could buy it. And we bought green, uh, green like wool, because she made the skirt and the coat, you know, and it was just beautiful. I remember it just was... No, she used to. So we were we were fortunate. That's all. How many how many children were in your family? Just uh, three girls, and I was the I'm the oldest, and the other two has since. Well, Della, it just it'll it was a year in March that she passed away. She was the youngest, and Frida was two years. Uh, younger than I, and she's been gone three years, and I'm still hanging on. I mean, you know, just but it was just the girls, us three girls, and then I had two, one of each. Right. So you learned to drive when you were sixteen. Who oh, taught yes. you? Yes. Who taught you? Oh, Dad and the neighbors in Craigsville. Anybody that you know? No, I. Uh, and then, uh, well, like I say, when we left Craigsville, I was 18 when they, when, when, uh, they built a house out the road, and, uh, and I was still working at the store. But uh, he, and he worked at Laird's Crossing. He run the shovel to dig the clay mm -hmm. for the tile, to make the tile. And um, so... Um, I would drive sometimes, and then Frank Williams, he worked, and he lived on out Butler Road, so he would stop and pick me up then. And I used to walk, I used to walk out the road and up over the Ruth Hill, which you don't know the Ruth Hill, do mm -hmm. you? <laughs> Is it a steep one? Well, it was up, my grandparents built the house mm -hmm. up there, you know, and that's where they lived, and raised ten children. There was five, five. So you drove, but you also just walked a lot of places too. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. But anyway, uh, that, that. Now, when you would walk to the dance, would you walk with friends? Oh, yes. And then down back of, uh, between Craigsville and where there was a, a, a pond, 
and that you'd go down there and skate in the winter time. You'd walk down. There was a railroad track went to Yellow Dog because they dug the limestone out of the. So you walk along the track? Yeah, we'd walk down the track or the road or whatever. No, you could, you know, even in Craigsville, if you wanted to go up, up to Grandma Ruth's way, I'd just run up the railroad track. You know, you could do that today at all. Of course, there's not that many trains today. Yeah, that's true. But that, and then that was another thing that we used to do in Craigsville as kids. Uh, they would. They had a siding, and they would pull onto the siding to let another train go by. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they kept ice. The engineer would keep ice in a place for to keep their water. You know, right? Yeah. And we knew that. And us kids, we'd go up there, you know, and yell, "Give me, give me a piece of ice!" And you know, they'd throw out a hunk of ice that was all over coal dust and. But we would take it down home, mother would wash it off and make lemonade. No, it was so good. But I, and I think back of the Craigsville days. <laughs> what kind of games did you play? Oh, for sakes. Well, at, at home, um, be checkers or dominoes or old maid because uh, we I I never remember and I don't think we ever had a deck of cards in the house because to this day I don't know one card from the other I never learned to, and my husband played cards but I uh, don't know but I never learned if I didn't want to I just was used to not playing cards and I spelled out and they're, I mean, they're money, you know, to get, in fact, they played, they got four people the other day up at the center that stayed and played, so don't ask what kind of wise cards, you know, but. Um, did you play games like tag or kick the can or? Oh, yes, we did. And we'd ride, and maybe a couple kids would have a bicycle, you know, and and uh, we'd, we'd ride bicycles up along the creek. Craigsville's just right along the creek. And that's another thing we did. We swam in that, oh, that was wonderful going down there and jumping in that old dirty creek where all the sewers run into. You know, <laughs> but we did. Every kid, you know, there was what they called the blue hole on up the creek. It was deep, deeper. And uh, and in the winter time, the creek would freeze over, and we'd walk on the ice, you know, walk all way down, either or up the creek, you know. But I don't think it ever froze this winter. Probably not. No, mm -hmm. no. People were telling us the Allegheny would f freeze all winter long, and you could walk. Yeah, that's this right. year. And then it would go out and it'd be a flood, and you know, would flood up there at Tar Town, because I had a friend that had a camp up there. Oh my God, it was unbelievable how that river would come up there. I, I would li really like to thank you.